You know that old saying, right? It can't possibly get any worse. Well, <laughs> it can always get worse, no matter what. Okay, Blood Bowl 3. I already did a video on this, a public service announcement warning people against purchasing the game because it was literally non-functional. My game couldn't even load menus, much less an AI team to play against, or even organize a multiplayer match. One would think the game straight up not working would be as low as anyone could ever truly fall and a 24% positive reviews on Steam ought to hammer home that fact, but no, there are deeper depths yet to be plunged, as data miners have found not one, not two, not three, but seven fully functional factions, full teams with art, characters, animations, etc. Everything done in the game files simply locked away, ready to receive a DLC unlock code. The Lizardmen, Shambling Undead, Wood Elves, Goblins, Halflings, Necromatic and Underworld are all in the game files right now. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Cyanide, what have you done? Done! You are making GW look reasonable by comparison. You are out assholing games workshop here. At least when they sell you a plastic model, you can be reasonably certain it won't fall apart instantly. And when it does, at least they'll give you a new one. Oh, they'll nickel and dime you to hell and back, but at least there's only so many ways to screw up plastic. And yet, you have not only managed to screw up re-releasing Blood Bowl 2, which is in essence what you were supposed to do here, but with prettier graphics, you have managed to lock away seven factions as on-disc DLC, and you kept the files in. Is that, what is that? Is that laziness? Is, is it incompetence? Is it simple hubris? Like this is a, no, no, I was about to say insult, but no, this is not an insult. Because to deliver an insult, you as the participant offending the other need to recognize at least some base level of cognizance, some amoeba level intelligence on behalf of the recipient to even bother to try to insult them. But this, <laughs> you must genuinely think your player base are made up of literal vegetables. Holy shit. Like a broken game is one thing. Now that's deserving of a hammering, to be sure. But a broken game with a, a year's worth of DLC baked into it. Imagine the developmental resources that that year's worth of DLC represent. Imagine the programming man hours that that could have bought to make a game with the menus loaded instead. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do but laugh? I mean, Christ, I guess I'm happy I've still got Blood Bowl 2, I suppose, which, hey, it looks better than 3, it sure as hell plays better in that it runs, and the UI looks more appealing as well, so I suppose that's all well and good, and well, it's got all the factions already, and... For some reason, I've got this sneaking suspicion that we might see some deep discounts for Blood Bowl 2 coming around very soon as the developers tries to get some money to keep their doors open. Because God knows Blood Bowl 3 is not going to be generating a whole lot of revenue. And I suspect the developers have realized that as they have kept themselves very quiet. <laughs> Very, very far under the radar after all of this. The latest announcement that they made was simply that the game was going live. 
Oh well, whoop to do And hey, congratulations to everyone who didn't pay extra to be part of the early access process. The early access process where the non-functioning video game failed to load menu items. I, I've, I've said that like five times now and I, I feel the need to say it again because frankly, <laughs> I cannot emphasize enough that I, I don't actually think I've seen a game launch be quite this much of a failure. I, I, maybe I have, I genuinely cannot recall, but a game that on launch has non-functional menus, you can't even get into a versus AI game, the friends list don't function, and on top of it all, the in-game cash shop crashes. And then it's revealed that there are seven factions of on-disc DLC. This, this is a studio killer. And if it isn't, I think maybe it deserves to be. Because I don't know about you, but um, Cyanide Studios is going to have to do something rather spectacular before I get excited for another Blood Bowl game ever again. I don't think there's anything more to say, really. <laughs> the... <laughs> I don't think there's anything more ridiculous that could possibly happen after this point. Prove me wrong, universe, I suppose. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, there, there's your second public service announcement. On disc DLC in a game where even the cash shop crashes. Good lord. It can always get worse. Have a good day. <laughs>